Hey guys, it's Fonza here with DipYourCar.com. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is we've got the Dip Your Car A4. It's got red with some gold metalizer over it right now. And the next project we want to do is a gloss white. And we don't want to put the white with the gloss over the metalized surface. We want to start fresh. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel the A4 back to its stock black color. And what we wanted to do is capture that peeling process so you guys could kind of experience what that's like if either you want to go back to your stock color or if you want to peel off whatever you have now and, and do it over again. So it's Fonzie from Dip Your Car. We're peeling the DYC A4. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to do when we peel the car is just pick one panel at a time. Now, it's generally an easy process, but it, everything comes down to how you applied the Plasti Dip. If it was sprayed from the proper distance, if, it, if there were enough coats on it. For example, if you sprayed from too far away and didn't give the Plasti, Plasti Dip a chance to kind of bond together, it's going to be more difficult to peel off. It'll still peel off, but not in big pieces. If you didn't put enough coats on, maybe only one or two coats, it's still going to peel off, but not in enough pieces. This car right here has uh, three coats of purple, and it has uh, two or three coats of red. So that's all in all about six coats. And then it has some dusting of metalizer, but that's not really going to add any strength to the product at all. So this is about six coats of rubber dip S. And the first thing that you want to do is just pick a corner. And right here on this quarter panel right here is the first corner I'm going to work on. And what I've done is I've rubbed back the edge to kind of expose that, that beginning of the Plasti Dip. And then you're just going to start peeling it up. And what I, instead of just yanking on it, what I like to do is kind of work it around the edge of the panel and then start working my way down another edge. The, the idea is to create a sheet that you can pull off in one time instead of splitting it up the middle. So I'm going to work, work my way down this quarter panel here. I'm going to follow the lines down, and then I'm going to start pulling it down as I go. And if you have any lights or anything like that, just peel around them. They should peel clean. They might leave a little bit of fuzz on there, but we'll get back to that after. Just bring it straight down. And then work your way back around to the other edge. Keep an eye on where, where your headlights and stuff are because you don't want to yank too hard on that because you don't want to leave any residue behind. You have to go back and clean that up later. And we're going to go straight down. And that's your first panel. Everything underneath is obviously uh, perfect. The clear coat and everything's fine. It's been nice and protected. So this is panel number one. We're going to go around the car and do it all. Something like this with the window trim, the Plasti Dip comes up underneath it a little bit. So just take a little bit of extra time to pull it down. That way, again, if you're just yanking too hard too fast, you might leave a little bit of fuzz of Plasti Dip underneath there. You can go back there with a microfiber towel or a, or a squeegee or something and clean it up, but you know, you want to try and make it as easy as possible. Now this whole thing I want to try and move down is one panel. When I get to the door handle, it's going to break around here and then sometimes it's hard to get enough dip up under the door handle here, so it might break under there as well. But we'll go back and clean that up if we have to. And then for the edge over here, I'm going to open the door and just give it a little bit of extra space so that I can squeak this piece out. A piece like this that's nice and solid where you don't have an edge to run back, just kind of work on it with your fingernail for a minute until you get it started. That should be all you need. Okay. 
with the with a gap like this on the on the window trim try to peel away from the gap instead of towards it that way if there's any dip down in that crack right there you're gonna be able to pull it out All right, when you get to the panel, like the back of the, tr the trunk lid here, we're gonna pop it open just to give us access to this edge a little bit easier. Just roll it back. And then under the spoiler is one of those gaps where the dip can get up under there a little. So that's when you wanna take your time again and just slowly peel away, just to make sure you don't leave anything under the, underneath it. All right, guys, we've got up to this rear door here. And just to show that really anybody can do this, because I've been doing it for a long time, we've got Brent from USP Motorsports here. He's going to give his first try at peeling part of a plastidip, uh, a plastidip car. Go right around the door handle. Wow. That's it. All right guys, we're up to the hood right now, which is uh, pretty much the biggest panel on the car. And a lot of times when you're doing a hood, some people will have some trouble, depending on the model of the car, getting coverage on this section of the hood, just because of have to, having to reach over it. So when you get to that section, slow it down just a little bit because it might be a little bit thinner up there. We're just gonna start on one corner. And just like before, I'm gonna try and work one edge out. and then just move the entire panel back. And there's your hood right there. All right, we've got all the panels peeled off, but that's that's not the end of the game. I don't want you guys to think that that you know that that's where it ends. You should do a little bit more than that. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to follow all the lines around the edges of the doors and the edges of the hood. Uh, most of them are super clean, but just in case, you're going to take the microfiber towel. Uh, microfiber towels do come in the pro car kit, so you guys will all have these. And we're just going to go up and down on the edges, and just any of the little fuzz that's left over that may have slipped in between. We're just gonna buff that off real quick. Obviously you want your car to be really clean. It comes off very easy. There's no chemicals or anything on the towel. You just basically rub it off with the friction.
and then behind the hood right. the front of the hood this edge here you can see hopefully the camera can pick this up you just just got this little ribbon of dip here it comes right off with your finger but you know just buffing it off with a towel will bring it back to that stock cleanliness down under here Same along the inside of the hood line here. You've got just a little bit of overspray and ribbon down there. Normally you won't have any overspray here, but just take the microfiber towel underneath the edge of the wheel well, just in case you had any overspray around that area, you want that to be nice and clean as well. Now as far as the doors, um, on a car like this, we've got this little door jam here, and you've got some overspray. It, you could definitely peel it, it's a little bit thin, so I'm just going to use my microfiber and then just buff it off. You've got this edge here, this flat edge, and then you've got this flat edge here. And it'll just kind of roll right down. And that's the only overspray that made its way in between. And then the underside of the window trim. It peeled off really clean, but it never hurts just to run your towel under there, just in case. All right, now one of the things I mentioned to you guys in the beginning of the video is that the underside here sometimes gets a little bit uh, fuzzy because the gun can't go all the way underneath. So I'm just gonna take my towel and rub underneath there just to make sure there's nothing overspray wise down there. As far as the trunk's concerned, same basic principle. Just watch your lines and your edges on the inside. The overspray buffs off really, really easily. All right, guys, we've gotten all the dip off the car. There's just one more thing we want to do uh, because of the fingerprints and everything on it. We want to get back to, uh, to good shape, and we're going to take it out back, and we're going to use this, the uh, dip foam system on it, get it perfectly clean. All right, guys, like I said, we got all the plastic dip off the car. We want to just get it cleaned up, get all the fingerprints and stuff off. We've got the dip foam system attached to uh, our power washer. Um, it's an 1800 PSI power washer. You get it at Home Depot or anywhere else. Um, and what we're going to do is just snow foam the car, get it ready to go. All right guys, we got the Dip Your Car A4 all cleaned up and ready for its next dip. Uh, the ease of removal for, for Plasti Dip is really gonna come down to how you apply it. If you spray it from too far away, if you don't put enough coats on, it's gonna peel off, but not as easily as it peeled off for me here. Uh, basically, you wanna make sure you follow the instructions, get enough coats on there, get it sprayed from the right distance, you shouldn't have any problems at all. It's Fonzie from Dip Your Car. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had fun filming it. This is the first time we shared this process. And we're gonna get this thing ready for its next dip in the, in the next couple days. The dip foam system, obviously all of Plasti Dip and Plasti Dip accessories are available at dipyourcar.com. If you have any questions, customer service at dipyourcar.com. It's Fonzie, I'll see you on the next video.